Okay. All right, I just hit confirm, hang tight while we create your order, almost there. And it says order confirmed on the URL. Okay, estimate delivery one to six weeks. What is going on everybody, Shwayze here, and today is a pretty eventful video, and that is because in today's video, I am placing my non-refundable deposit on a Rivian R1T. Okay, so I'll give you a background of why I am deciding to move forward with purchasing a Rivian in a different video. But I wanted to give you the ordering process or at least the reservation process in real time so you guys can see what it's like uh, on the buyer side, especially because I'm going to be leasing this vehicle. So I want to show you some screenshots and uh, some footage of what it looks like to go through that process and reserve one. Now, real quick, I wanna tell you a little bit of good information I learned today. Uh, today is July 9th, 2024, and I actually went to the Rivian Service Center here I have locally here in Utah, and I asked them about inventory. Now, I also test drove one of the quad motor vehicles, very impressed with it. I've driven one and reviewed one before on the channel, but I asked them particularly about inventory because I know that the Gen 2 Rivian R1T and R1S is coming out in the next few months. In fact, as of today, you can get a 2025 Gen 2 R1S using the builder on the Rivian website, and there are even some already on the lot. Uh, you can get good leasing rates for those. The R1T has not yet been available in my area, but that will be coming in the next month or two. Um, but that being said, knowing that the Gen 2 is coming out, and I'll explain why I'm not actually choosing a Gen 2, but choosing a Gen 1 instead, I asked them the question as to would there be any type of incentives for Gen 1 vehicles that they're trying to kind of move off the lot, get rid of from their inventory so that they could kind of start stacking up on the Gen 2s. And um, one of the questions I had was what inventory is available? Because from what I'm seeing on the Rivian website in my local zip code, there's really not that very many options. There's a couple of the standard battery, a couple of the large, there's no quad motor options, there's no max pack, none of that. And the color options are very limited as well. So I was hoping to to get a few more color options. I am wanting to get the large pack. It'd be nice if they had the dual motor performance, which they don't currently have in inventory in my area. And the Rivian uh, service individual gave me some really good information. He said that whenever you plug in the zip code into the uh, shop website on the Rivian page, it gives you the inventory at the Illinois manufacturing facility and at your local service center closest to that zip code. And so that's why you're only able to see like probably like 10, 11, maybe 15 builds, depending on where you live, because it's really limited based on what the manufacturing facility has and your local service center has. So he recommended I plug in a few different zip codes to see what are other vehicles in the area, because when you plug in a different zip code, it will again show you the same vehicles at the manufacturing facility, but it will also show you the inventory in the local areas at the other service centers. Now, he did say that as of right now, they're not shipping from one service center to another. So if you do end up purchasing a vehicle or leasing a vehicle that's at a different service center, you're gonna have to go out there and pick it up. He did note that at the end of the quarter, they do sometimes offer some shipping that's free of charge, so they'll transfer from one service center to another just to make sure they're able to get that delivery. Uh, but as of now in July, it's the beginning of the quarter, it's very unlikely, but I'll let you know how that goes. And so I started looking at the Rivian website and looking at local zip codes. Uh, as many of you know, I'm in Utah, so I decided to look at Las Vegas. I looked at Boise, Idaho, because I believe there's a service center somewhere up in Idaho as well. I then looked at the Rivian service center in Colorado Springs, and lastly, the one that's really the last closest one that I'd be willing to fly out or drive out to and drive back home is the Rivian Service Center in Denver, Colorado. When I punched in that zip code, uh, it turns out that they have one quad motor available from 2023 that's offering some incredible lease rates. Now, to give you a background on what I was looking for, there wasn't a specific trim, but I was wanting to get for sure the large battery pack and I wanted to for sure get a dual motor setup because the quad motor was very expensive and also I couldn't find any locally in my inventory and I also figured the dual motor would be plenty fine and it also offered the best leasing rates. But when I stumbled across this quad motor, even though it was a 2023, I was looking at 2024, 
And I saw that the fact that the quad motor was leasing per their website better than the dual motor because it's one year older, I decided it's really a no brainer to just put a deposit down on a 2023 quad motor setup. The other benefits here is the color option was a little bit more favorable to what I wanted. I didn't really want white, but I definitely didn't want LA silver or the black color. And the one I'm looking at on the Denver zip code is white. Also, I was very intrigued to get a white interior, which is an expensive, about $2,000 option on top of the base trim. It's the Ocean Coast interior. And it just so happened that the one in Denver also has the Ocean Coast interior. Lastly, I was ideally looking to get one with the off-road package because it has more underbody protection, all-terrain tires, and seeing as how this vehicle is going to be a replacement for my Ford Bronco, I would like the ability to take this vehicle off-roading. It may not be as capable as the Bronco, it may be better. I will do some tests to see how it compares, but just to have that option is nice. Not to worry about digging the underside and damaging a battery or exploding the vehicle would be really nice. And it just so happens that the Denver Colorado Rivian also has the underbody protection. So it really exceeded everything I would have wanted in a dual motor large battery pack, which I was honestly willing to go for a black interior because I couldn't find a white. I was willing to go for an LA silver because I couldn't find a different color. I was also willing to do just the regular, I believe 21 inch tire to get the best range. And this vehicle in Denver happens to be a no compromises pickup truck, aside from the exterior color, which I think I would have preferred a blue or something a little bit more out there than just a regular white, but I could always wrap it or do some really cool white and black accents on it. So without further ado, I wanna take you through this reservation process and um, show you what it's like. So I'm gonna do some screen sharing over here as I get this booted up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the Rivian website loaded up on my computer and uh, my computer's acting a little bit slow here, but uh, first we're gonna do R1T because that's what I'm looking for and we're gonna hit shop. Now I gotta briefly remind myself the zip code in Denver because uh, that's the one that had, the one I was looking for at least 20 or 30 minutes ago. Let's see if it's still available. But uh, once we get it up on the screen, we'll see what that looks like. And as you can see here, I've loaded up the zip code for you know Salt Lake City, Utah here. And as you can see, there's only an LA Silver, an El Cap Granite, which I don't really like that much, and a Midnight Color. And that's it. There is an Ocean Coast Interior but there is no um, quad motor setup. You don't have any max battery and you don't have any 2025 model year, which again, isn't something I was looking for, but just wanted to kind of show you what I was seeing. So let me plug in the zip code for Colorado now, which is 80205, 80205, continue. And you see there's more color options now. There's even a limestone, which I kind of like that color a lot, but, um, the one that really popped up for me initially, I wasn't really searching for a quad motor because I kind of forgot that they existed. I thought they were done with it. I see this in the filtering on the left-hand side. So I select quad motor and it pulls up one option and that's this quad motor large. And the thing that shocked me initially is the lease payment. Now to give you just a little bit more background, leasing just opened up here in Utah on July 2nd, I believe. So it's only been a week since leasing's been available. Uh, and I've been looking at these lease rates for a while because I've really been considering leasing an electric vehicle. And I'll talk about why for me, I think leasing is better for an EV than buying uh, and make more videos about this topic. But when I saw that 570 per month, that was the same price I was seeing for a dual motor with uh, the large battery pack. For example, let me actually go back and show you the one I was looking to get or kind of considering, you know, I wanted to speak with an advisor first, but let me show you which one I was talking about. It was actually gonna be LA Silver and it was gonna be the Ocean Coast interior because I, I like that interior, although not sure how it will hold up the test of time. Now, I didn't wanna do the standard or standard plus. I wanted the large battery pack because I like to have a little bit extra range. So let me just filter for that over here so you guys can only see the one option that was locally available for me. It might actually be one at the Illinois factory. I'm not 100% certain. But as you can see here, the estimated lease for this one is $612 per month with 10% down. So I'm going to pull up the lease information here so you guys can check it out. But as you can see here, I'm going to change the registration state to Utah. And it looks like the typing doesn't work. So we'll hit Utah. 36 month. I like to do 12,000 miles per year. We'll assume excellent credit down payment $6,000. Uh, I'm actually gonna do a down payment of zero. Um, 
there is still going to be money due at signing um, in addition to the 1698. We'll talk about that once I get the actual information. But according to this, I'd be paying $803 per month for the one that's locally here in Utah. It's a 2024 dual motor with the adventure package. It's in the uh, LA Silver exterior color. Zero to 64 and a half seconds, plenty quick. It's got the adventure interior, bright package, power tonneau cover, uh, the Rivian, uh, what's it called? The uh, Rivian Elevation Audio. You've got the utility panel and the camp speaker. Uh, drive system, dual motor, paint LA silver, wheels, 21 inch road wheels, Ocean Coast interior, and that's pretty much it. So now let's go back and let me show you what I was seeing with the quad motor in Colorado. Now I realize that means I might, well not I might, it's all but certain that I'm going to have to travel to Colorado to pick this one up. But this isn't actually the first time I've traveled to Colorado to pick up a car. If you guys followed me along the channel when I had the uh, purchase of the Hellcat, I leased that one as well. Uh, now it's being financed, of course. But when I did that, I actually traveled to Colorado as well and drove it back. So this was this is kind of becoming a trend on the channel is traveling to Colorado. But anyway, let me hit the quad motor. I still have the large selected and I still have the uh, Ocean Coast interior. And this is the only one that pops up and it's a 2023. So now let me show you the numbers for this one so you guys can kind of see how much better of a deal this is, at least with the information they're giving me today. So the range is a little bit compromised. That one I think was 349. This is 289 because this has the all-terrain package, which is the off-road package. That's the bigger uh, bigger tires or the, the, the all-terrain tires is smaller rims, but all-terrain tires. But this is a zero to 60 in three seconds versus four and a half, 908 torque, 835 horsepower, same adventure interior, the bright package, same as the other one, still have the power to no cover, still have the same audio system, uh, same utility panel and same camp speaker. So really the only thing is this one has the quad motor with more power and also has the off-road package and the color I like a little bit more. I feel like you can do more with white than with silver, uh, but you know, there's the 20 inch all-terrain, the interior is the same ocean coast, which I really like. And that's pretty much it. So let me show you the lease payment here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. It's Utah, 12,000 miles, excellent credit. We're gonna do a zero down payment, just like we did on that one. And it comes out to 760. So if my math is correct on the other one, it was 803. So it's $43 less per month for a more powerful and more equipped Rivian, just because it's a 2023 model year. And there's no difference between 2023 and 2024. They did introduce the dual motor, uh, in 2024 and the dual motor runs a little bit different. The 2023 is a Bosch motor system. So it's not made internally in house by Rivian, whereas the dual motor is in 2024. But uh, still, it is technically a more premium trim level having the quad motors. Now for the Gen 2 version, it's a little bit of a different story. The quad motor is also in house. It's not gonna be the same one that's in this Gen 1, uh, but I'll, I'll make a video on that later on as well. But as you can see here, do it signing is 1655, which is the acquisition fee, the first month's payment. Uh, and we're really liking this offer. This offer works for me. I wanna see how this compares to the actual final numbers. So just for curiosity, if you guys are interested, if you do a loan, you know, let's say 84 months, you're looking at 7.99%. If you did the same zero down payment, you'd be looking to pay about 1440 per month. So just about double of what I would be paying if I was leasing it. Uh, and we'll talk more about money factor and residual values and all that once I get that information. But for now, I'm a little concerned this vehicle is gonna fly off the shelves because of the lease deal and because it's a 2023 model year. So I'd like to do my best to just reserve this vehicle now and then make the decision later on if I really do wanna 100% go for it or maybe change my build and kind of explain the process there if that's even possible or if I can even cancel it. So now that we have all this information, 594 a month if I do $6,000 down, zero dollars down be 760 a month plus tax. I do live in a state that charges tax. There's also some closing fees, but 760 a month. Also, I'll just point out that as you can see on the screen here, the other one didn't have this model year 2023 lease promotion. So it's a better lease just because it's a 2023 model year. So now let's go through the official ordering process and then we'll go from there. Okay. So I've double checked everything. It looks accurate to me. Um, we're going to hit continue and see what the next steps are. So this is the breakdown. So it's the adventure package, which is 69,900. It actually, I believe went up 
um, for the 2024 model year, but we can show you what that looks like on the other one. Quad motor is only $6,000. A large battery pack is $3,100. Um, Glacier white exterior, $1,750 option. Bright package is included. You have the off-road package, the 20-inch all-terrain tires, $2,500. The auxiliary uh, compressor and the gear guards included. Ocean Coast is a $2,000 option. The elevation audio with the 17 speaker audio systems included. Glass roofs included. The power to know cover, which will be installed at a later time. Looks like December 2024. Also included. Estimated price of this one is $85,250 versus the other one in the Ocean Coast was, I believe, $77,500 or $77,250. So this is a more expensive MSRP but it's actually a more affordable lease payment. Looks like the estimated delivery is one to six weeks. If I was to do the same loan, it'd be $14.32 per month. Okay, now we can do checkout. Okay, estimated delivery. Delivery time will vary depending on your location and vehicle availability. I am a little bit hopeful that because this is a 2023 and I'm reserving it, maybe once I speak to the Rivian advisor, perhaps they'll be able to ship it. That would be ideal. That would save me the trip out, save me a lot of time. Maybe I could pay like $1,000 to have them ship. I don't know. We'll find out and I'll share those details with you, but I'm hoping I don't have to go to Colorado again, but if need be, it's doable. Uh, there's the non-refundable deposit of 500 bucks. This will go towards the purchase total. Any future changes may affect vehicle pricing, delivery, and timing. So that's pretty much everything. And now we're just going to put my contact information in, my card, my address, and uh, we'll go to the next page. So I'm actually gonna pause this so you guys don't see my personal information and then we'll regroup after I finish this. Okay. All right, I just hit confirm, hang tight while we create your order, almost there. And it says order confirmed on the URL. Okay, estimate delivery one to six weeks. It's ordered, officially ordered. The white R1T with those uh, yellow accents. Let's do some photos here. You got the side photo, the beefier tires, you got that Ocean Coast interior. Hopefully I don't regret that color. Hopefully it doesn't get dirty, but I figured it'd be good for me to discuss in videos whether that color gets dirty or not. I think that's good information to have. Some stuff that I haven't been able to find in my research. And then again, I'll make a more in-depth video as to why I decided to do this, kind of out of the blue. I've never talked about it before on the channel. There's been some stuff going on in the background and I'll discuss that later on. But uh, for now, we're gonna end this video and I'll give you guys an update when I hear back from the Rivian salesperson that's assigned for this particular order to try to get some more information. I'm gonna try to find out the residual value, the money factor. Is this monthly payment true? Does that include taxes or not? Because I've seen other people post videos about this and it's been kind of hard to decipher. So I'm gonna to try to gather as much information as possible and put it in one video, and hopefully that will be very informative for all you guys and girls out there looking to lease or own a Rivian. So uh, with that, we're gonna end this video. I'm gonna go celebrate a little bit. Um, I don't know if I should be celebrating or crying because it's a very expensive car overall, uh, but nonetheless, it is an exciting moment, especially for a car person to uh, put a order down for a new vehicle. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for all of the update videos on this particular buying process and all of my car reviews and updates on all the vehicles I own. Really greatly appreciate all of your guys' support. Honestly, I wouldn't be doing this without having this YouTube channel as kind of my support to be able to continue providing some cool content for you guys. Also check me out on all the social media at Shwayze underscore. Till next time everybody, hope you stay Shwayze, stay healthy, have a wonderful day. Catch you next time.